Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and we're back with more Halloween videos. I'm back with my special helpers here. Nathan! And... And we're gonna do some more Halloween themed stuff. This time we've got the Dr. Dreadful Zombie Lab. Now we've done this before. It's old. This is actually hasn't been it's sold fine. in stores in a couple years. And as Nathan pointed out to me earlier when he was looking at the stuff, some of these candy projects, now it's mostly just sugar, yeah. but some of it's a little old. As someone who makes concoctions like this regularly for work, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be okay with a bunch of sugar. Either way, onto the experiments. What's the first one we should do? There's zombie skin, slurpy slimy bugs, zombie barf, eating bubbling brains. Now the cool thing is, I have some pieces that are kind of just laying out over here. This one is an ear, and on the very front of this guy's skeleton here, oh, maybe I can get it out. There it is. Skull, his skull, zombie face, whatever you want to call it. Either way, on the very front of it is a nose. Now these don't actually come with the zombie lab playset. They come with another set, which is based on earwax and snot. And the cool thing is, is when you buy that other playset, the ear actually snaps into his ear hole, and the nose slaps in to his nose hole. Fail. <laughs> All right. So experiment number one is gonna be zombie brain. <laughs> All right, so to make our zombie brains experiment, we need 10 units of water. Now the nice thing is these little cups have tiny little measurements on them, and also two level scoops of brain mix. One. You can already see it kind of dissolving. And then... Two. And mix. Using the other side. Oh, there's... Ah. Slime like ooze. So next step is to add three level scoops of brain activator. One. Two. And the next step is mix. I wonder what'll happen. Oh, whoa. Big gooey brains. Now we're gonna eat some delicious zombie brains. That's good. It's like sour almost. Yeah, like sour. Well, I gotta try some brains. Mm. Let me have some brains. Let me have some brains. These are the yummiest brains in the world. Mmm. Those are good. They taste kind of like strawberry. Yeah. yeah. But they're a little tangy. Yeah. Those are actually really good. And they're yeah. old. Yay. Here you go. Enjoy some brains. I'm gonna eat your brains and gain your knowledge. Our next experience is gonna be zombie skin. We need four cups of zombie skin powder, little spoonfuls, and four things of warm water. So the next step is gonna be to pour the skin out in a thin layer and then refrigerate it for 10 minutes. So our next experiment is the zombie bug experiments. So we're gonna need, what is it, two scoops of bug mix. Oh, one, just tap it, there you go. One, two, two, there you go. Very nice, very beautiful scoop, sir. And then I'm gonna need three scoops of warm water from you, press. Three big scoops of warm water. And then we're gonna need our little nozzle. Ooh, one. Ooh, I'm gonna jump in front of you. There you go. I'm also gonna need these molds. Three. 
All right. You notice he had a little scar there on his forehead, and I took that right off. Or is it a worm? It's like a worm. I guess it's a bug. It's our bug mix. There's also a spider in his eye. And I'm gonna do some mixing here. Mix it up a little bit quicker. Look like a pretty good consistency. Yeah. Maybe you guys can kind of see in there, but it's a kind of a watery, jelly consistency, but still, still movable. Now it says we've got to pour it into this thing. Place finger under the nozzle as shown and pour the bug mix into the injector immediately. So now the next step I have to do is actually put my finger over this thing like this. Yeah. Kind of like that and cup it. And I'm going to pour this. Ooh, zombie sneeze. And pour this all the way in here. Let's fill this guy up. Ooh, I did a lot. Now the hard part, and I do this actually a lot at work, is to put this plunger in here. See, I poured way too much. Is to get the plunger in here without squirting it all out. Now that's going to be hard. How much there is in there. And there's air that needs to come out. So, there we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yay. So now we've got to fill these molds. Make sure the molds. It says open the molds. That's okay that it drips. It's on me, and it's delicious. So, oh, you got it? Here, I'll just take your napkin. Put it right on there real quick. And let's inject the bug guts right into these molds. See? Make sure they're sealed good. Otherwise you can see. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Okay, perfect. See it? Fill them up. Yeah, why not? Okay, good. That looks pretty good. And then I've got a spider here. Let's fill the spider up with lots of bug guts. Ooh, cool. So now those things gotta go into the refrigerator for what, 10 minutes? Place in the fridge for 10 minutes, and we'll come back and enjoy some bugs and some zombie skin. Awesome. All right, so the next part of our experiment is actually gonna deal with an expansion little side pack that did not come with the zombie lab. It's gonna be the uh, earwax and snot kit. So I've got some snot right there getting ready to go. We're gonna put that in a smaller one. So let's put this little syringe thing here. And I'm gonna do yep. some earwax right into this little mixer here. Earwax. Earwax. Yummy. Yum a dum dum. You're a dum dum? One. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Two. <laughs> That's a lot. I want you to. The instructions say. Oh wow. They say go for the gold, is what they say, but I don't know. I'm gonna go a little light on it actually. I'm not gonna do the full amount because we're eating a lot of candy. We'll have dinner once the zombies are done cooking. <laughs> so we're eating zombies? Zombies for dinner! I hope you like zombies. Don't you eat No, I mean zombies. Zombie steak. Don't have any stuff. Yeah, this is your dinner. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're okay with it. <laughs> so first, I'm gonna do the boogers first. Let's mix up the boogies. Got to mix it in here, got to mix it in there. I can just smell it already. Now these actually don't smell terrible. They smell kind of like, kind of like frosting. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so these are almost ready to go. Let's get these poured. Can you hold that just upright for me? I'm gonna try and get this stuff poured in there. Right through the bottom, it's a little thicker, but that's okay. Yeah, it means it won't fall out through the nose real quick. Medicine. I get to be Dr. Dreadful all day. Oh, okay. So, I got a question for you guys. Who wants to be the first one to eat the snot? Nathan? Oh, no! Wesley, do you want some snot? No? Okay, that's all you then. So, you actually push it out the thing. Ew, look. Gross. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick its nose. It's like birthday cake. Ew, yucky. You want to try some? Try some. No, no, no. Try, try a little bit. Fine. Pick the nose. Presley, I know boogers are your favorite. More yeah. for me. It's like this. There you go. <laughs> mm, it does. That's good. That's Pretty good. good. It's yeah. not bad. I actually like that one. All right, so now that one's mixed up, let's Don't mix up hear. our earwax. 
Now this one's this guy's a little bit different of a injection process. Oh, your wax was yellow. Um, I think if it gets gross and it's been in there a long time, it's like yellow green. I don't know anything about that. All right, so <laughs> so look, we put this down, and then we're gonna fill it up from the inside. Can you guys see this? Take a look. Here go. Oop, stabilize it. Okay, cool. That's pretty good. That injected actually really smoothly. So anybody like some earwax? I'll try it first. You wanna try it first? Yes. Get some earwax. See, look, it comes out like... Oh. Alright, I'll have some. Some earwax. Presley, would you like some earwax? Oh. Earwax. Try some. It's like chocolate. Tastes like chocolate earwax. You just use your finger. Like you normally do. I see you. I see you. Mmm. Mm. Earwax. Now it's cool because the ears, like I said earlier, do actually attach to the little side of Mr. Zombie. There's a hole there for his ear. There's also a big gaping hole here where his nose would go. Where are the book? Did you eat all the boogers? Booger please indeed, <laughs> sir. No, there's still a little bit of boogers left. Yeah, the cool thing is all sets connect to this big zombie lab. Yeah. Now, what's kind of, you know what I just realized? What? These kind of have a vanilla flavor. Yeah, and those, and have, those chocolate. have chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate and vanilla, just like real life. Yeah. My boogers are spicy though, so these aren't. <laughs> oh my god. These aren't just like regular ones. No, they're salty. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're gonna put this in the oven. Oh, what? That looks awesome. Alright, guys, now it's been over 10 minutes, so we've got our zombie skin ready to go. And we also have our bugs. I put the. Uh, eye bug and the little scar bug right up here, so we'll try those in just a minute. But I'm gonna let you guys, can you pick the skin up with the tweezers? Will it let you? Oh, wait, there we go. There you go. Give it a pinch. Get a pinch. Come on, thing. I don't feel it. Pinch and pull. And oh. pull. Oh. Pinch and pull. Lift. Lift. That's cool. Zombie out. skin. Oh. Try it, try it, try it. Just try the bite. Yeah. How is it? Mm -mm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get some for press here. It's like gummy bears. Here, pull. Come grab it. You gotta reach in, buddy. Oh. It does get stuck to the paper real quick. It though. does. Here you go. Open them. There you go. Pull it. Open and shut that. Pull it. Pull it open. Ew. Oh, oh, oh no! You lost <laughs> your skin. You just use your fingers. It's easier that way. How is it? Delicious. You can peel off that one. Yeah, I can peel this one off. I'm not good at it. These aren't the best tweezers in the world, but... Ooh, almost, I ripped my zombie skin. It's okay. It's fine. Easier just to it's use your hands. It's not his anymore, so... That's true. I want to try to peel it off in like a smooth, big piece, but... That's hard to do. I don't think do. it's going to let me, is it? It's okay. I got zombie skin. Ugh, zombie skin. Oh, zombie, please. It tastes pretty good. It's really rubbery. I think I can kind of see the jiggle it's got. Look. It's like really bouncy. You want more? Yes. What are you, a wolf? Uh -uh. <laughs> well, you call me a wolf because I eat like this. How are you liking that zombie scan, Press? Ah, what happened to you? Not much has changed. No, you still a maniac. <laughs> All right, so should we get on to the last and final experiment? We're gonna probe some zombie barf, man! Zombie barf! <laughs> okay, so now for our zombie brain experiment. I gotta fill the cup to the 90 unit mark, which I've got. I've got it. Oh yeah, what'd I say? You said brain. Oh, zombie barf, sorry. Barf, I think I would barf if I ate brains. So, I've got barf mix part two and barf mix part one. I'm gonna add three scoops of barf mix part one. And this stuff is blue. And I got one scoop. I was wondering two how scoops. All this stuff combines and stuff. Yeah. Two scoops, and here's three scoops, okay? It already has that weird berry to it. Three scoops. Quickly stir lumps, and, or until lumps are dissolved. Okay, so we're gonna stir this blue stuff until there's no more lumpies. Let's carefully, carefully pour this in here. Well, it's all gonna be part of the same thing, so. Whoa, blue stuff in the brain. So it's got this cool little locking mechanism on it. Pull it up, it means it's locked. Hmm. Look, I'm 
and swirl it around more just, just to make sure it's mixed up well. I really don't think that's safe for your brain. No? Yeah. So it says screw in the brain valve, which I've done. And before it says pull the valve up and set aside. So now I've got my little beaker here filled with 40 units of water. Ooh, this stuff's like hard. You gotta break it up a little bit. It says if it gets hard over time, break it up with a spoon is what the directions tell me. So I need how many of these? Four scoops of this stuff? Now, if I remember correctly, this is actually our least favorite part of this, right? Yes, because it's got a weird, skin. weird consistency. All right, let's make sure this you mixes up well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fine. 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 You know what that actually reminds me? Because I've got to place this underneath the skull next. Yeah. Uh, we forgot to enjoy our gummies. Oh yeah. Those delicious things. Which Ooh. one will you have? Uh, which one will you have is the question. i got a worm on top of his head, and I've got a spider that is his eyeball. I'll have the worm. Worm, take the worm. It oh, seems more safe. Ooh. I don't know that it'll work. You can probably just peel it out with your finger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Spider. I got a cool spider. And then you guys I got cut in cool half. Spider. Half a worm. Oh. Come mm. here. Delicious. Oh, candy. Is it look? It looks pretty dissolved, right? Yeah. Like little crunchies in the bottom. I mean, it looks like apple cider. Until all powder is dissolved. Okay, it's kind of hard because I'm using very cold water. I think in the past we tried warm water, and, and it it, it, it was so gross. It's just gross to drink warm, warm, warm liquids, warm liquids. Get it? That are like weird consistencies. Yeah. So let's just take a look here at the bottom. That looks pretty well mixed up. I see everything looks dissolved. So now. I've got to place this underneath here. You ready for this? No. Let me give this a little shake. I'm definitely give it not a little shake. Of the, what they call ready for this. Okay, the brain is in there. See the eyeball kind of moving a little bit? Yes. Okay. Now, this is the best part. I'm going to let you do it so I can get a film, if I can film it up close. This is gonna be so gross. Okay, I'm, you're, I'm doing it. You're doing it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Gross. Not bad. What is the consistency? Is like? weird, but it's good that we use cold water because the warm water is always gross. Yeah. It actually tastes like a fruity drink. Mm -hmm. Not bad. You try. <laughs> Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Oh, you barely tried it. You barely tried it. Take a good, a good gulp. <laughs> I didn't take a good gulp, but I, I, I still you take a better sip. There you go. Actually, not bad, right? No, it tastes good, but the, you're right. The consistency, it's bleh. It's weird to have those lumps and stuff in there. And you guys can see those lumps very well. But the two of those mixing together is kind of weird. Yeah. Awesome. So we've tried everything. Out of all of the experiments, what was your favorite one? I'd actually have to say either it's between the earwax or uh, what's it called? Chocolate what's earwax that? or the oh the brains. Yes. The brains. I the like brains the brains a lot. were really good. Brains were good. Earwax was pretty good. Yeah. They're actually all not bad. They should really bring this back and redo another one. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and some other Halloween videos. You can see off to the side we have our Booberry Frankenberry Count Chocula Castle that we made in another video. I'm going to have some Haunted Mansion toys coming up, hopefully some spooky tutorials, and some other stuff coming up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. We will see you in the next video. Goodbye.